Welcome to Business Live. I am Mark Crossgrey in BL tonight. We're going to kick things off. Wicks and Wind Farm Limited trading in their shares and advised by the company that a director has purchased 51,000 shares right on last year, New Year's Eve actually. It was December 31st, 2021. Small trade, but it's a sign of confidence. Good things to see. Wigton needs that. Maybe Investments has gotten involved recently with a financial advisory services agreement. Hopefully, better things to come for Wigton and a director buying up some shares, no matter how small, is a good sign. Now, VM Investments Limited to issue a new bond here to the market. Plans to raise up to three billion Jamaican dollars on the bond market to finance its growth. We just spoke about VM Investments, you know, Blockbuster, huge earnings. It was a big one. Nice numbers there, earnings per share by VM Investments. Now, this will be VMIL's second debt issue in the past six months. They're aiming for between two and a half to three billion Jamaican, and the offer runs from February 24th to March 25th of this year. Now, the bond is being offered in two tranches, 18 months at six and a half percent, that's per annum, and two years or 24 months at six and three quarter percent per annum. Now with Sinker Group Limited, long-term incentive plan trades disclosure by the company. We love to see that, you know, the company's doing well, the earnings have been up, they just came out with one of their best or greatest quarters, huge profitability. Well, you know, incentivize, you know, the team overall. So we like to see this. 833,000 shares and change purchased by eligible employees, including a director of the company, March 8th of this year under this plan. Now Massey Holdings, another massive company, stock split advisory here continuing or further to advisory by Massey that shareholders approved a 20 to 1 stock split effective March 11th, 2022. The price of Massey will be adjusted effective actually Thursday, March 10th, that's today. No, that's the X stock split date. Massey will commence trading at $97.63 Jamaican today, March 10th. That's 1 20th of the close price as at March 9th, that's Wednesday, yesterday. Now, Fesco, Future Energy Source Company Limited, not just, you know, trading their shares, you know, whether it's a director or an executive, you know, being purchasing, buying up shares, but in this case, now, corporate action, corporate activity, investment banking deal here, raising one billion Jamaican dollars corporate bond, Fesco securing debt financing by way of a five-year corporate bond to be listed on the private market of the Jamaica Stock Exchange with NCB Capital Markets. NCB Cap acting as a arranger and JCSD Trustee Services Limited as a trustee. The facility is for an aggregate principal sum, as we mentioned, one billion Jamaican dollars, a lot of money. The proceeds from a CapEx standpoint, that's the key, that's what you wanna focus on if you're a minority shareholder in Fesco or if you're looking at them, being earmarked for expansion of its dealership network and service station footprint across Jamaica and entry into the consumer cooking gas LPG market. They go on to say, this was clearly outlined as an objective outlined in their prospectus. I'm Mark Crossgrey, this is Business Life.